Hello guys, Gaming Dad 56 here, and I'm bringing you another video about the MR, the more realistic mod. Uh, this one is going to be specific to harvesting. So you see, I've got three harvesters lined up here, and a big field of wheat. What I want to show you guys is the effect that the more realistic mod has on these harvesters. So let's just get straight into it. Uh, to show you this field, uh, it's wheat. It is only fertilized in one little strip and i'm not going to be harvesting in that fertilized portion so this first harvester is set up in the unfertilized portion of it okay and i want to show you guys this because with the more realistic mod the yield is supposed to affect how quickly a combine can make it through a field um, the amount of material going through the head is supposed to determine how fast you can go so we're going to put that to the test now we unfold our combine we start up the header okay and we'll get into the field a little bit and it looks like in an unfertilized field we're managing about six miles per hour with the Okay, this is with the Case 1660 Axial Flow Combine with the 1030 header that is sort of designed to go with it. Okay, uh, the second one, we have this Case 1660 Axial Flow, same combine, but now we're sticking on the front of it this 35 foot case header okay the reason i'm doing this is you'll see people often uh sorry you'll see people often get into combines and as a way of getting around the expense of a new combine they'll just buy a bigger header for the same combine that they have okay in the base game that works because combine power is essentially useless but now it's supposed to make a big difference with the 35 foot wide header compared to the 14 foot wide header uh, on the other combine. We're going to be putting more than twice the material through this combine at one time. So our speed should be quite a bit slower. We'll see how it works. Okay, pedal is to the metal right now. Once we actually get into the field. Yeah. We're down to one mile per hour, okay? So it's still possible to put a bigger header on a smaller combine, but it's going to slow you way down. Two, three miles per hour tops is what it's looking like here, okay? So no longer is putting a huge header on a tiny combine really a, a good choice to get work done faster because your combine is going to move much slower. And then just to demonstrate, I've pulled out the case axial flow 7130. And this is the combine that's actually meant to go with this 35 foot header. So we'll fire this guy up. We'll get him into the field and see what he can manage with this 35 foot header. Okay. Pedal to the metal. Let me get into the field a little ways. And you can see we're still moving six, about six miles per hour, seven miles per hour. Okay. So getting the right header for the right combine now makes a big difference. Uh, you can't just go stick big headers on little combines anymore and, and still cruise through the field at six miles per hour. So one more test I want to do and just... To show you guys again, this is an unfertilized wheat field, or at least the portion we're in is unfertilized. Okay, and we're managing. What did we? What did we end up managing? About seven, six, seven miles per hour here. Okay, that's with the the sixteen sixty with its proper header. Now we're gonna jump to this 1660 and its proper header okay same combine same header but now the field we're next to is field 15 which is fully fertilized so the yield of this field should be significantly higher than what we were getting on that other field 
in theory, this should also slow the combine down because we're going to be putting more material through the combine in the same amount of time. Okay, so let's give it a try. And get into the field. There we go. So now you notice we have the right combine, we have the right header, but because the yield is so much higher, we're still only managing two miles per hour. Three miles per hour now compared to the six to seven miles per hour we were getting in the unfertilized field. So something to keep in mind with combines. The more material you put through the header into the combine, the slower the combine is going to go, whether it's by getting a bigger header or whether it's because the yield of the field is increased. It may be beneficial with full yield fields to buy a combine and a slightly smaller header. Something like wheat or barley, those are high yielding crops. There's a lot of material that the combine has to work through. So for instance, let's take a look at what we have in the store. Okay, I bought this 7130 and it's meant to go with this 3020, 35 foot Case IH header. That's what it's made to work with. This, there's a bigger case header, the 3162 Draper, right? 45 foot, so another 10 foot wide header. And that's meant to work with the 9230. If I stuck that 45 foot header on the 7130, I probably wouldn't go too fast. It probably wouldn't be awful, like one to two miles per hour, but it would probably be significantly slower. Whereas the 9230 could probably handle that 45 foot header. But if I'm in a wheat field that's full yield, fully fertilized, okay, even this 9230 with the 45 foot header might move a little slow for me. So maybe instead of buying the 45 foot header, if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of wheat, I go by the 35 foot header and put it on this combine because it's got more power and it'll be able to go through the field faster. Something to keep in mind. Obviously, whether you get a wider header or you move faster, you're still harvesting more field in the same amount of time. But just know, even with the proper combine header combination, if you're in a field that has full fertilization of a crop like wheat or barley that has a high yield or corn maybe, your combine may move slower because there's so much material trying to go through. That's the effect that the more realistic mod has on driving the combines. And it makes combine power, the actual combine itself and how powerful it is, much more important than it was in the base game. Okay, And it makes it more realistic, which is, after all, the point of the more realistic mod. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about the more realistic mod, and I hope this helps you to bring the more realistic mod into your gameplay and enjoy it and have a fun experience with Farming Simulator 17 and the more realistic mod. If you have any questions, post a comment below the video. If you liked this video, please like or comment or subscribe. Uh, I'll put out some more videos on other aspects of the more realistic mod as well. Thank you guys for watching GamingDad56. Until I see you next time. Bye.